I would go to. She said pull forward five miles an hour. It's like, right. And we have a pet bunny at home, so. Okay, number two on the river, she said just follow her. She said you can't pick the rabbits up because they are pets. They brought them here. Rayleigh's in her element. She thought she's always wanted a playhouse with all kinds of junk she doesn't need. Uh -huh. Oh, I can actually stand up in it. Yeah. Poor deprived kids, they think this is the best thing ever here at this park. Right, this is Astoria. We're headed to the coast today. We're just driving through Astoria on the way out there. Astoria is right along the Columbia River, which is a huge river. So we're trying to catch some views as we drive. get off here yeah it's always a little challenging finding a parking space with a long rig like we got but I think I found one. Oh wow I really like that boat a lot look people are getting on it well, let's just see can you pick it up now oh, aren't they worried about people stealing it <laughs> come on I know it's heavy. It's not a boat. Street, so we have to kind of pick our way through here. You like this? That boiler came from a ship that went aground, and then the White Star Cannery used that boiler in their cannery. <laughs> Rotate that uh, seat back. And that turns us around. We'll be facing east now, eastbound and down. <laughs> we learned something, didn't we? Thanks. So we're here in Astoria. We weren't really planning on stopping in the actual town of Astoria, but we stopped here and found there's this uh, trolley you can take for like a two dollars a person it's like an hour total round trip so that's been a blast so we went on half of it already and then we ate lunch and now we're gonna pick it back up and take it this way and we're just watching some seals swim around in the, the river here looking at all these cool boats and just waiting for the trolley to arrive kind of a cool little town there's a lot going on because it's on the water there's all kinds of marine stuff that goes on. They have a festival going on. They have all these breweries. They have all these shopping places you can get off the trolley and shop at. Just a lot of stuff going on in this little busy town. There's like been, I don't know, I think they listed like five or ten movies made in Astoria because I guess it's just a kind of a cool little town. <laughs> they are past 17th. Used to all this trolley in. I don't know which way. We have a seat. Great. Yeah. We have peace for you now. Woo! Yeah, there they will bark. 
work 24 hours a day. They eat our salmon, they're very fragrant. There will be thousands of them by the end of fall. Bailey, did you like Astoria? Mm -hmm. Me too. Thank you. Uh-huh. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Can I say it? I mean, well, where does Think at? I liked Astoria, number one, because yeah, the trolley was fun. And there was a lot of history. You got to hear about the whole town. I liked how it was like a little village. I liked that whole fill. I liked that I could see sea lions. Half see. a mile. Which sea lions I love, have always liked, so I liked to, that we could see sea lions. Yeah, I like that it North was fun to see the barges and things out in the water. I wish I didn't have my husband with me so I could go to some stores and eat because, you know, I would have done all that kind of fun stuff, but we ate in the camper instead. So, yeah, that's why I liked Astoria. There's a lot of history here for sure. Yeah, I think it's very interesting that Lewis and Clark, you know, came and it was Astor, Fort Astor, and then Fort George, and then Astoria. Going now? Wow. Look at those waves. Those are big waves. These are lavender fields here. It's closed, but you're supposed to be able to pick your own lavender. Hello. Last Hello. night we spent the night at Home Depot, one of the busiest parking lots we've ever seen or spent the night in. It was very unnerving. We had planes going over the top. We had, I mean, all kinds of in and out trucks, traffic, homeless people. It was just a lot. So today we're headed up to Mount Hood and this is the valley on the way. It's called and, the Fruit Loop. Yeah, and it has all kinds of fruit places, lots of fields of different fruits and flowers, lots of herbs and oils, breweries, wineries, cideries. Cideries, yeah. Lots of stuff going on here.
go down there. I think we should. I'll bet it's bigger than you think it is once you get down there. Yeah, it's mountain water. It's like ice. It's a lot of water. This is our view for our lunch today. Woo! Not too bad. On Mount Hood here. Yeah. Tell me what that is up there. Oh, yeah. oh I gotta get better than it. It's weird. It's a kind of rock. All I know is you better throw some rocks. What? There was all these tiny shiny rocks. Oh boy, I bet this is a little we bit nerve wracking. This is amazing. We're almost the very top, or the closest you can get to Mount Hood without climbing it. And we're above the clouds. And it's just beautiful up here. And my family's just sitting in there. <laughs> Trying not to fall down the hill. You won't. That's a ski lift chair. There you go. It's in like you're skiing. headed to Bend and we decided to, Marcelo had seen these things in this gift shop about um, these thunder eggs. You can break them open and they like have different colors in them and stuff. 
And so we were trying to find out where they were and we heard that Pony Butte it was a good spot to find them. Well, so when we got here on the side road, um, we seen that the hours were closed. And so we were like, well, shoot. We started down the road anyway, and it was super high elevation. Our truck started getting hot, and um, we finally found a turnaround. We were just gonna get out of here. And then this guy stopped by, wanted to see if we needed anything. And so I started chatting with him, and he has offered to for us to park our camper trailer at his house for the night so that is where we're headed and should be a interesting experience he said his family has um, owned land here since 1800s wonder where this guy's house is because like I don't even think we passed one one house and we went like 15 to 20 miles and there's no house in sight so this guy is leading us to our campsite for the night he let us go to his house and get some water for a camper now he's showing us back to the remote place that we can camp I was hoping for an experience like this I think he's taking us right to that area where that rock is. Oh my word. We got a rock to climb on. Really We're climbing up a rock. That's <laughs> <laughs> a good bed. It's fun. Hourglass shape on it. Where? In here. Marcelo thinks he's found black widow spiders. That's, That's scary. And there's all other sorts of creepy spiders. Yeah, we ain't in the end anymore. <laughs> we got some apple cider from a stand in the fruit loop today. The bottom of Mount Hood. And mom made some delicious supper. And we're just hanging out in the middle of a ranch in Oregon. Right? Exactly nowhere. <laughs> this is awesome. Camper's over there somewhere. Stop for a morning hike. I couldn't help myself but to uh, hike some of these little mountains in the morning and just see what it's like out here. It's so cool and different. Quiet and remote. We're hiking down. up to that little hill there. Well, actually, it's kind of a big hill. Who thinks this is the best camping spot so far? Me. Me. Yeah, I do too. Both so me. awesome. I, and I slept yeah, so super much. good. And that's Did good. you? Yeah, because like usually when we park in Walmart, really cool. usually when we park in Walmart and stuff, it's all noisy. Did you have all your blankets, Layla? I'm always too tired to get it. Oh my word. 
cold out at the start and then I fall asleep. See that? Over there was really bad. Well, if you wake up, you should just go ahead and get it on. Wow, too tired. Oh my. I am um, actually did not sleep that good because it was too quiet. What? Yeah. There was something dripping at first, so mom and I were listening to that. And then it was so quiet. And then at some point in the night, the camper started rock. It was like a rock. And I thought, I thought it was rocking too much for you guys to be moving. And we weren't moving. So I thought maybe there was cows bumping into it. So I finally got up to check that. Try to scare them away. And there, there was nothing around it. I don't know. It was just, it was, it was, it was literally too quiet. Whoa, look at that big bug. Oh, yikes. Oh, Why is it doing that? What? That's how it gets water. All you do you stuff sure? gets, yeah, I read about it. Really? I thought maybe it's <laughs> the way it's trying to scare you. Oh, my. No, because then the water runs down, he drinks it. Yeah, how stupid. <laughs> I would say a cow died and then it looks like part of like the pelvis, yeah, right maybe. I don't where's know. the head? Yeah, where's the head? Oh, that does look like a Ooh, it's a good size snake. Don't that's cool? Mm -hmm. See, that makes me wonder if some of those rocks aren't up here. Because that's kind of how they're, what they're made of. Uh-huh. Try to break one of these, but it won't break. Two, ready? Oh, careful. Looks tiny. Uh huh. Dad, look at this. It's got that stuff in it. That yeah, looks like an ugly rock. See, and that's how those okay. that's how those thunder thunder eggs are. Watch out. Oh. Layla, are you being dangerous? Kids are still way down there looking at rocks, looking for treasures. Camper's way over there. We found so many more cool rocks. Look at this one. I found these. There's plain rocks. Oh, All your treasures. piece and look what it was in the middle yeah that's cool i wish they would have brought a hammer the jackpot huh? they're like orange golden or something uh -huh. in there move some other stuff uh -huh. dig into it go scoop it up like a shovel okay. yeah <laughs> okay Make a good set. i don't think they like that It'd be interesting to come back in like a day or two and see how what they've done with it. My holy cow! They're just right under the surface, ready to get you. I don't know. You just must have walked around this way when we went around that. Come around that way. Yeah, but I was being really quiet even. I didn't even hear you guys walking. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're gonna do bust some open and see what's inside of them. Did you see us on the mountain? I did. Did you I see me wave? I couldn't see you waving. But... You couldn't see me waving? Yeah. That's a big one. You need to <laughs> bust it yet. Holy cow. And look at this, Mom. <sighs> yeah, this is the other half of that one. If you want this one, you can have it. Too. Wow, look at that. That's like thick. Got this one. I know. Yeah. You can have it. Too. These would be really cool to, to uh, make oh, trees and put them on there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, I got this one because look, it's green and it's sparkly. Uh -huh. Look, this is like a, almost a whole piece with that. It's all clean, yep. Yeah. I don't blame them. Where are you supposed to pull them? Oh, they just all look the same? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like cotton. Real cotton.
sadness. It was really quite shocking to think that the family had avoided sickness during most of their trip. So far, no one else seemed to have the illness. Yeah.